It is time, it is time, it is time for the offseason. Uh, this is going to be my very first offseason. I'm a little bit afraid of it, but we're going to try our best to do our best, okay? So we got exclusive free agency. Before free agency begins, you have the opportunity to exclusively negotiate new contracts with veteran players on your team. At times, you will face the possibility of losing these players to free agency. If you wish to see compensation for lost veterans, you have to option. Uh, uh, all of these guys can go. All these guys are awful. All of them can go. And I, I mean that wholeheartedly. Every single one of them is bad. To review staff. Oh, man. Uh, fire. Uh, Ethan Katz, I've been wanting you out of here for a very long time, so get your ass out of here. Third base guy, I don't know you. I um, mean, I don't know you either. We want a brand new coaching staff. Okay, so what do we prioritize? I don't want to bring in Dave Roberts, even though I like the fact he's got plus two power. We got A.J. Hinch here, plus three power, but negative three to vision. We need vision. We jump into these games. We're awful. We strike out, so I don't want to do that. I definitely want somebody that's an A or a B. Um, I don't want somebody that's negative in durability, though, because, again, we're a team that gets injured a bunch. Plus three to clutch, plus three to durability. I don't know if I care that much. We got plus three to contact. Minus one to bunting. I don't give a damn about bunting. Minus one to velocity. Maybe we don't do that either. Okay, we got to find our guy. It's just a matter of, like, this guy looks pretty solid. It's like strikeouts, control, arm accuracy, a little bit low to clutch. Is there anybody that's just plus all across the board? There's somebody, but it's stealing and bunting. I don't give a damn about that either. Wow, I haven't seen a single guy that I liked the attributes that he'd be improving. Not one. And now we're getting far into the, to, too far into the weeds. Um, so, let's go back up. Let's go. Let's. I don't want to bring in Dave Roberts. He's not a guy that that's gonna be coaching my team next season or managing my team next season. But like Henry Portillo, he's plus two to power, plus one to fielding, plus one to home runs per nine, and plus one to reaction. He's plus across the board, and he gives us a little bit of power. I don't think he's a really a real guy. I'm going to Google him really quick. Um, Henry Portillo's not a real dude, so okay, that makes it fun for me. So hey, Henry Portillo, if, if you would like to come to the team, um, then we can do that. Let's, get, let's give you four years, $22 million as an offer. You actually don't like that uh, enough. I'm a little bit afraid, so I'm going to increase it because I don't want to lose you because I don't like anybody else there. 23 is a little bit better. Okay. Now we can go to our hitting coach. Perfect hitting coach for me. Good power, good contact, good vision. Don't give a damn about Bunting. He's 70 years old, but he know what he's talking about. Welcome to the team, hopefully, um, Alexander Rado. Pitching coach. Okay, let's see what we got. Uh, plus two velocity, minus three to home runs per nine. This guy's minus one to clutch, but we do get hits per nine going up by three. I like that a lot. I'm Thomas, we try to get an A+. Plus. And I mean an A-plus coaching staff in Chicago. We ain't never had that. All right, let's see if we can get everybody we want. We got our first base coach. We got our uh, farm director. We got our hitting coach. We got our manager, Harry Pratello. Welcome. And we did we get everybody? Yes, we did. And I may have overpaid for some of the people. I could not care less because it was very important that I put together a really good staff. Um, with our first base and third base coach, I pr prioritized durability because we've had a ton of injuries throughout the season last year and i refuse to let that happen again exclusive free agent negotiations again i don't i actually don't want withdraw that offer now i do have it so i could get some help here because i don't know what i'm doing J john could stay maybe he again he was pretty good for us this season but mike soroka i'm very okay with not ever seeing him in a white Sox jersey again cool tender contracts these players are under team control because they don't qualify for arbitration yet if these players are not tendered slash offered a contract by December 2nd, they will become free agents. Hello? If a contract renewable player decides to decline his offer, you can still renew their contract for less than 80% of the previous. I don't understand none of that. But can we can we just say, um, make him a real offer? Not platoon. You are a everyday starter. I don't know why they would think platoon. And we like, hey, let's lock, let's lock our boy up for a long time. Five years. $8 million. That feels like a steal because I know how good you're going to turn out. Colson, there's a real contract. The rest of this stuff, I don't know if anybody else deserves that. But here's free agency. Now, I want to say this right now. The White Sox are a team that's not notorious for spending money. Um, and I know I'm shifting the narrative and all of that stuff, but don't expect me to go out there and get Juan Soto because that's just too unrealistic. Um, but I do want to spend a little bit. Let's take a look at our roster right now. So our pitching staff could definitely use an upgrade. I mean, we got Noah Schultz, who is uh, who did not play pitch well in AAA last season, but he's really good. We got Drew Thorpe, who's 24, and I don't I don't know just yet how exactly I want to play this because Eli McCullum was one of our draft picks this year. As you can see, he's he'll be third in our starting rotation based on overall alone. 
Um, and I don't know how I feel about that. So maybe I'll get somebody else in free agency to just, you know, pitch for us and we can let Eli develop a little bit because he's only 18 years old still. And then Drew Thorpe is probably a guy that gets called up eventually. My catcher position, I feel okay um, with Corey Lee and Edgar Carroll. So I'm not thinking about that. First base, sure. Second base, Lee Wong is the guy we drafted. I forgot a lot of these guys that we drafted are really good off the bat. Miguel Navarro, who's our first round pick, they would have started him at double A, um, which I guess I'm not against. I mean, I think our outfield, we shouldn't have to, we shouldn't be thinking about signing anybody for the outfield, right? We got a bunch of players that we really like, that we trust. If anything, we want to improve our um, infield. Like Lee Wong is a guy that can play for us right now, but there's really no rush to have him up. So we can look for middle infield a little bit. We do have Tyler Locklear and Joey Ortiz. And Joey Ortiz can play second. But again, I think it's okay if we go out there and try to look for somebody. Let's see who the best people are at that position. So we got Glaber Torres, who I would love to have here. Um, he's got an offer from the Yankees. And it's an offer that he's not in love with too much. Um, Brandon Jury's here as well. He's starting to play down a little bit. He had 222 last season. Gleyber Torres hit 280 with 17 bombs. Like, that is a player that we would love. I mean, Rosario um, is playing down a little bit now, too, but he didn't have a bad year. Um, Willie Adamas is here. Wow, wow, wow. He's got an offer that he kind of likes. I am I am interested in Willie Adamas, bro. <laughs> okay. Um, the outfield positions, we do have, like, Teoscar Hernandez, J.D. Martinez, who's got zero offers, Tyler O'Neill. Kevin Kiermaier is out there. Harrison Bader. We got some really good fielders out there. We also got, like, Randall Gritchick, uh, if I pronounce Gritchick, I don't know, um, who's really good versus lefties. Juan Soto, obviously. Santander. Max Kepler, who's coming off the World Series. Now, Walker Bueller last year was used as a pin arm. We saw that in the World Series. He's came in out of the pin. He's 30 years old. He's actually playing up right now. And out of the pin, he threw... Um, a th a th he had a 3.29 ERA. 81 overall would basically make him our ace. Um, and obviously, he's got some years in his career where he was really, really, really good. Uh, Two-time All-Star appearances. He's got zero offers right now. Zero offers. I am very tempted to throw Walker Bueller a contract, man. Very tempted. Now, he preferred to play for a contender, which I completely understand. So maybe I'm against that. Um, I'm not making this guy an offer. Okay, so not everybody has their team quality up there. I'm just curious if some, if some people do. Walker's coming off a team that's been in championship contention for basically his entire life. So it makes sense that he would want that. I'm not bringing Jose Cortana back. Uh, Jacob Yanis. Yacht. I traded for you in the series two years ago. I remember that. Oh, my God, I remember that. He's from Illinois, too. I'm going to offer Walker. I'm not giving him nothing too crazy. I'm just curious to see if he would come to Chicago. I know we're not his ideal destination. But I'm curious. I offered Caleb Ferguson a contract to, um, he's coming off a really good year where he he p pitched a 2.78 ERA um, in his about 90 innings. He's 28 years old, uh, protects or performs better with playing at home. I like that a lot. And um, he was willing to come to the team. So hopefully that's a sign that we get. The real question is, do we offer Gleyber Torres a contract uh, or do we offer Willie Adamas a contract? Willie again hit 259 with 27 home runs. Glaber ended up hitting 288 with 17 home runs. He was amazing. I can't lie. And again, he's not extremely excited about his offer. He does not care about the quality of the team. He wants a good coaching staff. And best believe we just put together a really good coaching staff. I'm very tempted. Now, again, not in White Sox nature to give out big old contracts, but like 60, 60 something million dollars. That's not too big for the White Sox. Gleyber Torres has been offered five years, $68 million contract. Um, and I'm just kind of seeing if there's like some gems down here um, that are worth trying to pick up. It's not anything really. We're not bringing Adam Frazier um, to the team. Um, Colton Wong, no. You know, so I think that's the I think that's the move, John. Nah. All right, I think that's our first bit of free agency. Let's see how that goes. Shane Bieber goes to the Nationals. Okay, Nationals trying to re up a little bit. Caleb Ferguson has signed. Jonathan Lewisica has signed. Um, I didn't even offer him. That was the CPU offering him that. I'll actually take that. I'll take that. Uh, Lee Sims, we're really putting together a new bullpen, um, which is great because our bullpen was sucked last year. So. We're actually signing real people. 
Glaber Torres, we're still his number one option. Um, Tanner Scott, we don't, I, mm, I don't know how to feel about Tanner Scott. I think Walker should just sign. He don't got no other offers. Like, who are you wait? Who are you waiting for? Yeah, who are you waiting for? Just take the offer. You too, Glaber. We didn't double like the, the the other offer. Um, come on, just just come on, man. Stop messing around. Oh my God, Juan Soto has a better offer from the Mets. Okay, Corbin Burns is looks like he's one hundred percent leaving the Orioles and might be going to Toronto. Uh, Bregman is staying. Uh, Goldie staying. Clay Holmes staying. Okay. Glaber might be coming here. Max Freed looks like he's staying, but those the contracts they are giving Max Freed look bad. Three years, thirty-two. Hell, I can pay that myself. No, I can't. No, let me chill. Let me chill. Let me chill. Um, Tanner Scott might be coming here. Tasker Hernandez to the to the Dodgers. Oh, he's been there. Sorry. Uh, wow, we're gonna be seeing some real player movement around the association uh, around the league. Not the association. Glaber Torres, five years, $68 million contract. He's a white sock. <laughs> oh, no, they're going too far. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm turning off. I'm turning off them uh, sending offers for me. Because what are they doing? Why, why are we in the Juan Soto sweepstakes? <laughs> why are we in the Juan Soto sweepstakes? Let me rescind my offer. It's, the A's are in here now. Juan Soto, it went from Yankees to Mets. To, to now Toronto? T to the A's? If he goes to the A's, bro, I don't know what's happening. So Tanner Scott has a better offer from the Nationals. Again, I'm not tripping about it. I, I just want to make sure we walk away with Walker Bueller. We offered him four years, 32. I'm going to make it four years, 33 now to try to make sure we squash that competition because I don't look at any of these starting pitchers as somebody that I want. Other, I've convinced myself that he's the guy for us. So I'm hoping he's the guy for us. It's the last bit of free agency. Um, Tanner Scott is gone, sure. Clay Holmes went to the Padres. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Did we get Walk? Walker Bueller, welcome to the team. All right. Um, we had a good offseason. Caleb Ferguson, Jonathan Lewisica, Walker Bueller, uh, Glaber Torres, and then we re-signed a bunch of different people. Um, and then a lot of our young guys too. That was that was a good offseason. Juan Soto is still out there with no home. Here we go. No, nah, let me chill. Let me chill. Let me chill, let me chill, let me chill. Yeah, let me chill, let me chill. Yeah, let me chill. Nah, I'm not doing it. But do I want to? Yeah, I don't want to do it. But that's not, yeah, no, 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 no. Um, we got no offers on JD, uh, JD Martinez. And 33 home runs last season is insane. We don't have space for him. Like, I'm thinking about it like this, right? Um, our potential lineup is going to be something like this. Not in this order, but like these are the players. Um, I'm, I I'm do want to bring our guy Joey Ortiz back up, though. Uh, he might not be an everyday guy, but like uh, Peyton Burdick, even though he ended up playing pretty solid in his 100 at-bats, he's not a guy that needs to be in the majors to me personally. He's not a guy we're invested in. We're invested in the other guy who could play multiple positions in the infield. Um, so we want to bring him back up. Uh, so is there room for a J.D. Martinez just for some pop? Not really. Akil Badu is a guy, again, who we helped turn his season around. So I'm, I want to keep him in the lineup. Dominic Fletcher played really well last season. I want to keep him in the lineup. And then Ben Attendi was our best player last year. Got to keep him in the lineup too. And then obviously Luis Robert is back. So there's not a lot of space for him unless we're saying like Akil Badu is a platoon type player, which is not out of the realm of possibility. Now he did play 125 for us last season, but that's because we were really, really bad. So like him versus righties, um, him versus lefties is really, really bad. So maybe that's when we put JD Martinez in there potentially just for some pop. Can we convince JD Martinez he's a platoon DH? Probably not. He's like, hey, I'm the best batter available even though i'm 99 years old yeah he wants to go to a contender in his old age anyway we don't have anything we can offer him he wants to be close to home he wants to be on a contender he wants to be every day we can't provide him with that but now that i'm thinking about it we could potentially give that to somebody else who's the next wow patrick wisdom you want to come across the street you want to come across the street pat i mean if we if we talking about a dh this guy's not going to hit for anything but power and he wants to be every day though we wouldn't be able to give him that and we, I don't want to give him more than like a two-year contract. But if you want to add power to your lineup, Patrick Williams could be the Patrick Williams. <laughs> ah, Patrick Wisdom could be that guy. I call that man Patrick Williams. Hell no. Randall is kind of perfect for this because he he's okay with being a platoon player. Now, he wants to play for a contender. He's got zero offers, though. So he had 22 bombs last season. If we have him play against lefties and have Akil Badu be our righties guy, then like that... 
worse. And we bring in another bat that we like, and we don't have to lose 100 games next season. I'm also not about to offer him nothing crazy. 1-5 one, one at the max. Does that make sense? It might not make sense. If it doesn't, I mean, if anything, he could get traded get traded away. Oh, he's got a better offer. I'm not about to fight. I'm not about to fight against the, the Astros. He wants to play for a contender. They're definitely going to be a contender. I mean, not definitely, but they're probably going to be a contender. Um, but Gleyber Torres, that's, he's, he's fifth amongst second basemen. I love that. I, I didn't even think to look at the trading block. It's got some pitchers up here, but none of them that we would be interested in. Um, I don't think. Yeah, it's all pitchers. All pitchers. There's no bats up here just yet. Verlander, old self is here. But yeah, no bats. Rule 5 draft. Do we take anybody in the rule 5? Oh, draft lottery. We tanked all season long. If we don't retain the first overall pick, I'm going to be pissed. Here we go with our draft lottery. Is there? Uh, this is my first time seeing this, so I don't know if there's anything special that happens. But here we go. Draft lottery. Hello. Dra draft lottery. We dropped the one spot. The Blue Jays, who were a 500 team, ends up getting the first overall pick. We get the second, though. So I'm, I'm actually okay with that. I'm not tripping too much. I, of course, I would prefer to have the first pick, but I don't know what this draft entails. And it's baseball. Anything can really. Juan Soto went to the Athletics. Oh, my God. Okay. Well, that's that sucks for the series. Unless the Athletics are really like that, which I assume that they didn't re, like formulate, reformulate their team. It's him. And stuff. He took the bag, I guess. He took the bag. He took the bag. Wow. Okay. Well, we won't have to see Juan Soto play meaningful um, games anytime soon. The Rule 5 draft is definitely interesting to me. I don't really know what we should be looking for. Pitchings look fine. Um, they're suggesting that we go get this closer. And right now, our closer is this guy, who, again, was really good for us last season. I'm okay with him be holding that closer spot for us until further notice. I'm not thinking about drafting the closer. And none of these other positions look interesting to me. So because of that, I don't think we draft. Yeah, I don't think we draft. There's no nobody here is super interested, even though this guy's a top 50 or 100 prospect in the league. We have 100 of him on our team right now. You know, we have 100 of him. Even What is that guy's name? Spencer Schwell Sh and back. Schwell and back. Hmm. Might draft you based on the name, big fella. Oh no, our guy Jake is in here. Nobody gonna draft him. He's fine. Yeah, we're gonna we're not gonna take anybody. Okay, cool. Corbin Burns, Goldie, Christian Walker. Um, oh my god, he dropped a lot in his power, so never mind. JD Martinez is still here. Patrick Wisdom, bro. I keep man, I keep going back to it, man. I keep going back to it. I keep going back to it. Let's see. Cubs fans going to hate that if he signs. Cubs fans are going to hate that if he signs. Um, we don't know if he will. Corbin Burns is going to Toronto. All right. Paul Goldie is going to the defending champions. They just re-upped a little bit. They did re-upped a little bit. And we did get Patrick Wisdom to be on the roster. We don't know exactly how we plan that just yet, but that is a good problem to have right now as our team looks significantly better. And we still, um, oh yeah, give Edgar that contract, baby. That's a good deal. And we still have all of our young people in the positions that we want to have them in. You know what I'm saying? We still have all, we're 27. <laughs> I thought we'd look better than that. Oh, it's because they ain't put our people in the lineup. We're still 27. <laughs> this is our orchestration of our lineup um, eventually. I, again, think it's pretty, it will be pretty solid. Um, we still have Costa Montgomery, still have Tyler Locklear, we're still going to have Carol, uh, we still have uh, Vaughn, who we're trying to develop, and so on and so forth. It's spring training, so we still got like Joey Ortiz here, who um, we're still trying to invest in quite a bit. Oscar Colas is still on the team, he's 26, he's probably going to get traded. But I don't really care about spring training, so... We advance to the regular season. There we go. The last thing I'm going to do in today's episode, oh, I guess I'll do this off screen, is that there are a lot of people that were wearing very funky numbers for me, and I'm not in the business of that. One thing I do have a question about for y'all, though, is like our first round pick, Miguel Navarro, obviously is good enough to play for us right now. How how do we play that in y'all opinions? Um, do we just keep him in single A or send him to double A? Do we bring him all the way up right now? Because right now, honestly... If we brought him all the way up, Akil Badu, who I've been talking about, invested a lot in, yo ass can go. Yo ass can go. Um, you too, Dominic Fletcher, who we like a lot. <laughs> or I guess it might be Benny, man. Benny, he's 30 at this point. He has like, you know what I'm saying? He's Even though he's a really good bat for us, 
there's room for our guys to get called up. I just don't know if that's going to hurt his progression or anything like that. So y'all can let me know. I thought it was an absolute W of an offseason. Y'all might disagree. I mean, we went from the 30th ranked team to the 27th ranked. Maybe it wasn't too crazy. Uh, <laughs> but what you, you couldn't expect me to go get Juan Soto, right? You couldn't have expected that in this episode, could you? I hope not. Uh, I cannot wait to play opening day, which is against the Angels. Uh, let me double check to see if they still got some hitters on their team. Um, but th yeah, the Angels going to be our game opener, our season opener. They still got Trout and a bunch of stuff. All right, we'll see y'all at the end.